Hey guys, it's April. I have a cup here and I'm trying to hold it. It's on my drawing stand. And I spray painted it with a black matte. I know it looks glossy, but it is not glossy. Trust me. I painted it with Rust-Oleum 2X Paint and Primer Flat Black. And then I applied um, the Folk Art Crackle Medium on that. And I am waiting for that to dry. And then once that is dry, I am going to paint my top coat over that before I put my epoxy. So as soon as that is dry, I will come back so that you can watch me put on the top coat. And basically, like I said, that's all I've done. I spray painted it black and I let it dry. Um, I let mine dry overnight, but you don't have to let it dry overnight just until your black paint is dry. And then put your crackle medium over it and you're going to let that dry and then come back and we'll do our top coat. And there are the instructions. It tells you put your base coat on surf, uh, the surface, let it dry, apply the medium, let it dry, apply your contrasting top coat, and um, you can use brown, whatever it is you want to use. And I'll be back with you guys here to watch the top coat. Okay, guys, I am back. Let me take this off the stand so I can get under here and you guys can see me. My crackle medium has dried. I did use my heat gun on it to help it dry a little bit faster, but it's dry. Um, and I have, I'm just using craft paints, but I wanted kind of a mushroomy color. And so I had my husband help me. I know you guys are going to ask me, and I don't know how much he used of each one. And he didn't think to uh, watch what he was doing. He just mixed it. Um, but I used suede. This is the Craft Smart acrylic paint in suede, gray, and vanilla. And he just mixed it, adding a little bit of each one to get it to that mushroomy color that I wanted. So those three colors are what you'll need to mix yours up. Or you can choose a totally different color, whatever color you want. You can use any color. And I'm just going to start painting it on the cup and coating it fairly well. Um, the crackle will start when it begins to dry, from what I understand. That's the first one I've done on a cup. So, just going to get it coated really good. And we will see. I'm going to start from the bottom and come across. Ooh, that one's already starting to crackle there. It's going to happen pretty quick, apparently. You can see it going on there. I may have messed up the bottom, but that's okay. I can coat over it and do it again. You want to work pretty fast with this, guys. Pretty fast. Okay, and it's starting to crackle as it dries. You can see it going on there. How cool! I may have to touch that bottom up again, but that's okay. May just. The bottom is not really a concern for me because I'm probably going to put vinyl on there anyway. Or a logo or whatever I need. Don't want any big clumps of paint. How cool is that? And you can use any color that you want underneath. And that's really sliding right there. I don't want that big of a crack, so I'm gonna get a little more on there. really they're all going to be different you're going to have larger cracks you can do brown under here I did black um, and that's fine for me I think I will do one with brown though or maybe even a dark gray let's see I'm gonna give it a little heat and see what that does
it's looking pretty good. I'm, I think I'm going to be happy with that. It's still crackling on the bottom, even though I messed it up. And in that one area, it's still crackled. So as it dries, it's going to crackle. Just let it do its thing. And right there is where I messed up, and it's still crackling. So um, we'll come back when this is dry, and we will epo I am, I think, depends on how smooth that is. Uh, I think I'm going to epoxy before I put any decals on it. Oh, we'll see. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, I've cut my water slide decals after all of this time trying to figure out what I wanted. I had a couple of places on my cup and I had to sand it. Um, I don't know, they were almost like craters. like. And I don't know if that was the crackle medium that caused that or if I actually had some air bubbles that I didn't see. I don't recall any being in there. But anyway, I, that's why you see the sanding on there. And it's going to be fine. I'm not going to worry about it. And a lot the decal paper says use warm water. And a lot of people do use warm water for their decals. But I use cool water. It takes a little longer. But I find my edges don't lift up as much when I use the cool water as they do with the warm. And because these have such intricate edges they could be a little difficult so I'm opting for the cool water and it taking a few minutes to absorb in I'll wet my cup to give me some slide because I've sanded right there I'm not going to get a whole lot of slides so I'm going to try to get this in place where I want it before I start and it's starting to loosen up. You'll know when it's ready, it will start sliding around on its base, as you see. And I think that's about where I want to be. So I'm just going to get it off to the edge. And you want to pull the paper, not the slide. Just slide it out from under. And then you can get a little bit of adjustment. I'm really liking this crackle cup. And then I just use a brush to brush any air bubbles that may have formed out. And because I have all these little bitty edges, I'm brushing to the inside out. Okay? Because you don't want to have that lifting up on you. As you can see, a little piece broke off, and that's fine. It won't be noticed. I'm just going to dab it. Make sure I have no wrinkles. And I'm just basically trying to squeegee out any water and air bubbles out from under it. I just want to be very careful with it. And I'm going to hit mine with a heat gun because I'm going to be placing stuff. And if I put it around here or let it roll around, it's going to move it because it's still movable at this point. And I find the heat gun kind of helps get out any water that might be keeping it sliding, just so I can work on the cup. I am going to let it wait 24, 48 hours before I do anything with it. And I've got a couple of white areas in there that I don't like, so I'm going to go and cut those out, and then I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what I was thinking. I used a clear water slide paper, so that white area is going to be clear. It won't matter. <laughs> I forgot. If you're printed on um, a white decal paper and you see those white areas, then they will show. But if you're on clear like I am, they're not going to show. I need another cup of coffee. That's what I need. 
but I'm just soaking these and I'm just going to put them on various places on here. No rhyme or reason. Just going to throw a couple of small ones in there to start soaking as well. That way they'll be ready. I'll go a little quicker. And this one can be a little bit tricky because of all of the little areas on it. But we're going to get them to lay down. It may take a little work. I'm really liking the sunflowers on this cup. Yeah, well, there we go. You can feel if anything is raised up, you'll feel it. Or if you have a wrinkle. Just work them out. Add it, get some of the extra water off. Ah, oh, I see the problem. I have a leaf under there. I'm just gonna get rid of him. I don't need him. A leaf broke off. I don't want to lose all of them. I'll put him right there. I picked a very delicate type of sunflower for my decal, apparently. You're just going to have to be really careful if you pick something delicate like that. Again, brush from the inside out. And that will help those. Just going to heat it. That is basically all you do, guys. And once it's dry, you're going to let it sit for 24 hours to dry. Once they're dry, then you can go ahead and coat with your epoxy. So I'm going to finish placing these decals. I'm not going to make you guys sit and watch all of that. Just make sure all your air bubbles are out. I've got a couple right there. I'm just going to run them out with my finger or my brush. And make sure you get them all out of there. Okay. And I will see you guys when we go to coat with epoxy. And now we have the decals on. Okay guys, I'm back. And I've got my epoxy mix, but I'm going to mix in a little of the white lights. Um from Lily's Glitter Shop into my epoxy. I think it will be pretty. Hopefully it won't cause any rough spots or anything like that. I don't think it will. I'm just going to put just a little. I don't want much. I just want it just enough so when the lights hit it or the sunlight that it gives it that little bitty little bit of extra pop. So I've got that mixed in. And then I am going to start coating this cup. And I know I've mixed more. I'm going to pour the rest into a key ring. Didn't want to pour that much that fast. Want a nice, good, even coat. And instead of waiting 24 hours for my decals to dry, I heated them. You can, it even tells you on your instructions that you can put it in the oven and heat it, bake it so that 
So that's basically what I did. I used my heat gun, but same scenario. Oh yeah, that's just enough of the glitter. Didn't need much, just a tiny bit. And I wanna make sure the entire cup is coated, just a really thin coat. And if my glitter makes it a little bit rough, that's okay. I will put a second coat on, just a very thin coat, just to cover that. But I wanted to get it in there. So pretty. Make sure you get your edges. I don't care if it goes onto the inside. I will use my X-Acto knife once it's cured and finished, and I will do the top and clean it out. It pops right out of there. I just go around the rim with my X-Acto knife, and I will show you guys. If I don't quit spilling it like that, I'm not going to have enough for my key ring. And this was just a Google image of some flowers, and I took some and I put them together and uh, flattened them all together to create different shapes. It was just one set of sunflowers, just like that. And I just made them different sizes. Just a really thin coat. Dragging it right over the edge. And then I cut some of my decals in half and put them on the edge. And it's okay if they hang over the edge. I'll take care of that with my X-Acto knife at the same time that I clean up that edge. I'm really, really liking the way the crackle came out. It's really pretty. Okay, guys. So we are going to let that sit. I'm going to pour the rest of this into my keyring mold and we will call that finished. Just going to heat it for a second, make sure I have no air bubbles. Okay guys, we're going to let that sit and cure and then we will come back and if it needs another coat I will do just a tiny light sand and we will do another coat. I and have I taken this cup off the tumbler and as some of you know um, I had a death in the family so I did do a very light sanding, nothing major, just I had like two places where glitter was sticking up but I just hit it with the sandpaper and I did put another coat of epoxy on this cup and that's all I did it was just a clear coat nothing in it um, so I did not film that step due to circumstances but I just wanted to come on really quick show you guys the finished cup and let Amanda know that this cup is on the way to her and you guys have a wonderful day. I'll catch you on the next video. Please give a thumbs up, like, and share, and I'll catch you later.